The equipment inside Fitness Rangers is lonely, but the gym is warming up to break a sweat indoors again. Obviously, we've run into hurdles, but we're just excited to be able to offer that in, in more of a complete package. After the brief stint inside, before Sacramento County reverse course, returning completely outside, gyms will be given a second shot to offer limited indoor workouts as early as next week. Is the county on track to move up a tier? We are very optimistic that if the numbers uh, remain steady. Which also means restaurants can offer limited indoor dining. But Origami Asian Grill is debating whether to shift things around. So it may take us at like a week or two after that initial like, hey, you guys are set to reopen um, to make that plan to do that. And in that one to two weeks of planning, everything could revert right back. So, you know, it's very cautionary of what we'll do. Loosening restrictions also applies to students going back into the classroom. We have to be in the red tier for two weeks and then schools will be able to reopen. So the earliest the schools will be able to reopen will be mid-October. But is there a concern from on the county level about continuing to toggle back and forth, you know, potentially opening up schools and opening up restaurants and gyms to indoor and then having to go backwards again? That is a concern. One good thing is that if we get to the point where the schools are able to reopen, even if, unfortunately, if we get a, a, an outbreak and our numbers go in the opposite direction and we have to change to a, a more restrictive tier, the schools will not have to close at that point. Once again, adapting through uncertainty. But then again, it is 2020 after all. But we'll take what we can get. I mean, all we can do is put our toes in the water and hope for the best.